Satnam and welcome to day 24 in the month of mindfulness. Today I'm going to start up with a story. It is about a friend of mine who was the additional director general of police about nine years ago. And one day he called me up and he said, I'm sending two of my very dear friends. Uh, they are from out of Bombay and they've heard a lot about you. And so you are going to help them with their health issues. I said, no problem, send them. So they came in the evening, they were very big. Uh, they had weight issues and they came and sat down and said Kya karne ka hai? what should we do I said I'm sorry I can't help you he said what do you mean uh, but we know we've heard so much about you and you know even your friend the, the, the police commissioner he was saying that you know uh, you'll be able to help us why don't you want to help us I said because whatever I'm going to tell you you're not going to do so thank you very much and uh, really um, sorry that you had to waste your time coming here but uh, please have tea and coffee and I'll see you later. My friend got very angry. <laughs> he said, what is this? These are VIPs. How can you treat them like that? I said, they're not going to listen to me. You know, I knew it. And there was no point discussing it. I'm telling you it was a waste of time. He said, but they were ready to listen to you. I said, you know what? They live nearby. Tell them to come again. I said, okay. So they came again. Now the husband sat down. You know, they were a little upset with me. So they just sat down quietly like this. I said, um, you have to start sleeping at 10 o'clock. No, 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 no. My stock market in New York happens uh, till 3.30 in the morning. I can't sleep early. I said, I said, you have to stop having alcohol. How do you know I have alcohol? I said, I know that you have alcohol and you have to stop having. No, no, no. My doctor said one drink is okay. I said, I'm not the doctor. I am not telling you one drink is okay. I'm telling you for you, one drink is also poison. So you have to stop drinking. No, one drink I have to have. I said, okay. I said, from tomorrow onwards, you have to have two spoons of ghee for lunch and two spoons of ghee, uh, clarified butter for those of you who don't know what ghee is, uh, for dinner. No, 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 but you become fat when you have ghee. I said, have you come to me to ask for advice or have, are you come to give me advice? No, no, but ghee you become fat now. You can't have ghee. And there was one more thing I told them. Um... Yeah, I said you have to have your breakfast at uh, before 8.30, you have your lunch before 12.30 and you have to have your dinner before 7 o'clock. No, 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 no. My daughter comes back from college at this time, my son comes back from work at that time, my, my wife comes from here from this time, I come back from this time. We cannot eat before 9 o'clock. I called up my friend. I said this is what the thing is. This is the, these are the five things I told them to do and they've said no to all five. This is exactly what I told you. This is exactly what I said, that they are not going to listen to me because people, this is the point. People are unhealthy because they have chosen to be unhealthy. People are unhappy because they have chosen to be unhappy. Even when you show them the way, even when you show them the path, even when you tell, give them the perfect advice, they don't want to take it. The point of making this video is that you are responsible for your own life. Don't blame anyone for your health problems, your psychological problems, your, uh, your relationship problems. All your problems are created by you. I've said this before in my earlier talks on YouTube. I've said this before in mindfulness and I'm repeating the whole thing all over again for you. The life that you're living inside of you right now is what is being reflected outside. So if inside is clean, if sattvic, if it is powerful, if it is beautiful, you're eating beautiful, nourishing food, your, your, then that will get transferred to your thoughts. The thoughts will be sattvic. Your, your deeds will be sattvic. Your life will be heaven on earth. Again, your life which you see outside of you is a reflection of what is inside of you. Okay. You are responsible for every single thing that you are experiencing in your life. You can make that change within you. It's the shift. Haven't you heard of people who have got the fourth stage of cancer and for no reason, something happens, somebody talk, tells them something, they listen, they sit down in a meditation, some kind of magic happens and tap, it goes, the cancer goes away. It's a trigger, it's a switch. Many times it happens. So, my job is to plant the seed in your head. 
Now you think about what you're going through in your life. You think about whether you're going through happiness, you're going through pleasure, you're going through pain, you are sick, you are unhealthy, you have psychological issues, you have insomnia, you have weight issues, whatever you have. What I want from today, the reason why I'm making this video, finally, is that you take responsibility for your action. And you say, this is my doing and I have to undo it. Because once you have made that decision, that's your nirvana for you. That's your enlightenment for you. Your whole life will change. I'll see you tomorrow. Satnam.